Hello YouTube land, my name is Castlecade and today we are going to be going over a tutorial on how to have multiple Minecraft clients on your desktop without any other external program. What this will allow you to do is have two multiple completely different Minecraft clients which you can have multiple things on. So for example the first client can have mods while the second client can be for multiplayer etc etc. So you don't mix and match and cross contaminate things, why not? To get started, what you want to do is create a really quick .txt file. Now, at this point, if you don't see the .txt, I can help you fix that. You'll want to open up your My Computer. You'll want to go to Organize, Folders, View, and make sure that Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unchecked. So make sure that it is not checked like you see here, and you are good to go. So at this point, Actually, yeah, let's go create that folder. So where do you want to place it? I'm going to place it somewhere very simple for you guys. We will put it right directly in C. So it'll be directly in local disk C and directly in Minecraft, which is perfect for us. The next step is that you'd actually want to go to the Minecraft website. So it'll probably be just Minecraft.net. Yep. So make sure that you are logged in and uh, or potentially not and just uh, download. You'll want to download the minecraft.exe file. That will be a very small download. It's only 270 kilobytes at this point. So now that we actually have that, what you'll want to do is go into the Minecraft folder as you see it here and go to your downloads and then just drag over the minecraft.exe that you just downloaded. Pretty much anyway. So let's say you want to have single player, multiplayer, and special. So we'll create one of each for you guys. So first folder, we will have single player. Second folder will be multiplayer. And third folder will be special. Why not? These are the three different clients that we're going to be creating in the near future. So minimize that for now because that's actually no longer important. What we will be doing is creating a file. We already did actually, it's called new text document. We'll change that around later. So to get started, which ones did we create? Okay, so we're gonna be creating single player one first. I'm just gonna leave that in the top corner for us because that could be useful. Here is what you type, and I will put this down in the description below, so do keep that in mind. Set app data equals C colon backslash is minecraft capitalized yes it is minecraft backslash single player be very cautious on the capitalization of these as that is vitally important next line c colon backslash minecraft backslash minecraft dot exe so this will create basically your single player setup so minimize that, minimize that. What we'll want to do is name this then single player. And this is why the .txt was important because we're actually going to be changing the extension of this to a single player .bat. It's a bat file. You'll see here that if you change the file name extension, the file may become unstable. Are you sure that you want to change it? Hit yes. The icon will change and everything will change perfectly. So let's double click on it and see what happens. As you can see, it does in fact bring up Minecraft. Let's just enter in my details really quickly. We are going to remember password, why not? And we are going to log in. It will start downloading your setup files for you and from there on out, things are good to go. Let's quickly also now create the multiplayer. I just copy pasted. I'm also gonna rename this to multiplayer. We are going to edit with notepad and we are just going to change single player to multiplayer. Perfect. We're going to close out of that and we're going to copy it again and we will change this from multiplayer to what was, was it special that we created? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to call that special and there you have it. So we're just going to rename that to special.bat. Now let's go back and check out, see what's happening over here. Okay, so we do have Minecraft. Hey, 90210. Let's go check that folder really quickly. 
Remember that we created three of them, we just set up the single player one. Let's check out to see, is there anything else in these? No, absolutely not, correct? I created blank folders. Well, what about the single player one? As soon as I opened up the single player dot bat and downloaded it, it's all in here. This is where your minecraft.jar is. This is where your texture packs would be located. Your mod folder, as soon as you install forge and or mod loader, it's all in there. So we can do the exact same thing with multiplayer as well. As you can see, the information is in fact still left blank. So what you'd want to do is just propagate that with all of your information. Remember your password or not, that's up to you. I'm the only one that really plays at the moment, so we're just going to remove or remember the password. As you can see, again, this is in fact downloading, which does make this quite easy for you guys. And again, it's directly in, where is this, Minecraft. So we now have single player, we're getting multiplayer right now, and then we can get special. Seeing as the special, seeing as re-downloading it again might take a little while, you, I think you guys get the idea. So now that that's created, let's go into, oops, let's go into multiplayer. Now the multiplayer folder is propagated. So this is a completely different setup from single player. And actually to make this a lot simpler, what I can actually do is just copy paste that and rename it into special. I believe that would work. Don't quote me on it. I'm going to find out right now. Yep, so it pre-propagated everything. Everything is good. It doesn't have to download, seeing as we just copy-pasted it. So that's something else that you can actually play around with. You'd actually be able to do full copies of your clients, copy-paste it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the good thing about copy-pasting is it also copy-pastes your worlds. Because I can actually quickly show you where your worlds are stored. Let's say if we were to be going in here. Actually, I need to create a world first, don't I? Okay, so let's actually quickly create a single-player world. Just as a bit of a bonus, I will show you where your worlds are, in fact, stored single player Kestel Cadence sexy tutorial why not let's put cheats on bonus chest on etc etc let's create the world I don't really care about the seed if I spawn in an ocean then I'll be sad but other than that it does not matter so as you can see things are going good here's my spawn chest and everything it doesn't really matter anymore. I just created it in order for you guys to see where it's placed. It would be in your saves folder, and there it is, or Kestel Caden Sexy Tutorial. All of the files, the levels, and everything is located in here for future reference, so if you ever do need to do something specific, you can just copy-paste that, and you have a copy of your world as well. Although that's a bit off-topic. So pretty much, though, I basically have told you how to create three separate clients so that each of them are different because remember I opened up single player let's go to multiplayer and check to see if it's located in there so we're logging into multiplayer which is a different folder single player absolutely nothing's in here so you can have different mods for this one compared to this one compared to this one this one can be a default setup with no mods this one can be just with Ray's minimap and Optifine and this one can be you know a buttload of mods and you don't have to worry about them ever interlinking with each other these are three separate clients just for you i hope this has been a ra rather beneficial tutorial for you guys this has been kestel Caden showing you how to create multiple minecraft clients on your desktop check out my other videos i do tutorials every week actually i'm going to be trying to do them a lot more to tell you the honest truth but we'll see how it goes so, you know, comment down below if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to me if you loved it. Until next time, guys. Keep modding.